Hello again, I am Eric Grubaugh, your NetSuite technical advisor, and I am back today to continue our discussion on effectively building a NetSuite development team. You'll recall that I was once tasked with doubling the size of a NetSuite development team, and we previously laid out the strict hiring process that we adopted to accomplish this. Today, we're going to discuss the next phase of that process, which is the onboarding of new hires. Now, once again, it was extremely rare, very difficult for us to find experienced NetSuite developers. Uh, whenever we hired someone, we had to train them ourselves. So at the time, we had no structured training. New hires, new developers would spend about a week shadowing the senior developer on their team, and then we would throw them into the deep end, uh, straight into smaller client work. Um, this was very stressful for everyone, and also very ineffective, and ultimately led to very high turnover. Our average onboarding time with this approach was three to six months, which is incredibly long, very costly and very unpredictable. We could never tell when someone was going to be ready uh, to be fully utilized. We knew that we needed a much more effective, much more efficient training process. So based on our previous attempts, we knew that locking new hires away to watch NetSuite videos on their own or sending them off to NetSuite courses on their own was just not effective. Um, it was far better for new hires to get their hands dirty with practical examples right away. Um, this led us to design our own mock project within NetSuite. Um, each new hire would implement this project before they were actually placed with their team um, on client work. So this project was not trivial examples. It was a series of tasks and lessons relevant to the actual work that the new hire would be doing with their team. We wanted the training program to mimic our day-to-day -day development processes as closely as possible. So the training project was built inside our actual project management system. It had a backlog of daily tasks and goals laid out for the new hire. Every single task had a problem statement, a list of expected outcomes, how things should work when they're done, and maybe most importantly, a list of resources that were related to the topic that the new hire could use to effectively teach themselves how to solve the problem. So they weren't uh, constantly going to uh, their teammates or the people around them to distract them with questions. Um, the backlog was designed to gradually introduce SweetScript, fundamental SweetScript concepts. And uh, the project backlog was templatized so that we could easily clone it for every new hire that came on board. Um, the process would start with the new hire's manager uh, having a kickoff meeting to set the expectations. And our expectations were that the candidate would finish the project within 30 days. And we needed people who would ask questions when they got stuck, rather than spinning their wheels and staying silent. We wanted to establish early on that asking questions is encouraged, getting stuck is okay, but staying silent is not. Uh, new hires would have a daily progress review with their manager took about 10 minutes and the focus was on one core question. What did you learn today? Um, the new hire every day was expected to explain what they learned or highlight where they were stuck, what wasn't making sense. A lack of questions or insufficient explanations was a clear indicator to us of a lack of involvement or motivation in the process. There was also a weekly retrospective with the manager, which is a little longer meeting where the focus shifted to uh, some code review on what the candidate actually built that week. And 
uh, more of a reflection on how the candidate was feeling, how things were going. Were they growing, growing in confidence uh, or were they feeling overwhelmed? And we used that information to kind of adapt the, the project for them week by week. And lastly, at that 30 day mark, we would have a formal performance review where the manager would decide, you know, if, if they were done with the project, was it acceptable quality? If they weren't done, were they, was it because they just weren't going to make it and we should terminate them? Or did we want to extend their, you know, probationary period um, a little bit to give them kind of a one last chance to wrap up the project? And the results we saw from this program were incredible. Um, our average onboarding time dropped from the three to six months I mentioned before down to around five weeks. Um, so just a little over a month. Uh, because we use the same tools and processes as normal day-to-day -day operations, the new hires were just ready to hit the ground running very low friction when they got assigned to their actual team. Um, the increased structure and the openness with the manager, those open, free, frequent uh, contact points uh, made for much better relationships, much lower stress, which ultimately, uh, much higher confidence coming out of the program, which I believe ultimately led to much lower turnover among our developers with much higher retention uh, as well. Okay, so hopefully this has helped provide a little insight on how you can lay the groundwork for scaling up your NetSuite development team. I'll see you soon.